If you are an artist or someone who would like to be creative, well, I have something for you. It's called Paint 3D in Windows 10. The classic paint has been reimagined with a new look, tools, and features. You can create 3D and 2D images and import them into your world using Windows Mixed Reality. Hello, my name is Kenneth Perry. I am your technology expert. Welcome to my channel, K Perry Global. Now let's explore how to create a 3D avatar in Paint 3D. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell for updates. All right, let's hop on in. Unleash your creativity with Paint 3D. In order to do so, you have to open the application in the search window, let's type in Paint. As soon as I type in Paint 3D, left click on Paint, and then we're going to create a new project. At this point, in order for us to start the process of creating an object or a minion in Paint 3D, oh, I let the cat out of the bag, we are creating a minion today. And with that being said, I have to go up top here to the tool panel in order to access 3D shapes to create my 3D image. So I'm going to select 3D shapes. I'm going to go to the panel over here and select capsule. And then after I select capsule, I'm going to select yellow because I want my minion to be yellow. I'm going to click, left click and drag and drop. And there's my capsule shape. And as you can see, it is a 3D image. I'm going to put that back to zero degrees. Excellent. Now I need some goggles. I'm going to go back to 3D shapes and then select my donut over here. I like using the donut and I'm going to go down to the color and select black. And at this point, I'm going to take my mouse. I'm going to click left click on top of here. And then I'm going to drag this out. All right. There's my donut there. We're going to put it right here. That looks perfect. Cool. This is your Z axis. So I'm going to take my Z axis. I'm going to move it back because I want it to, I want it to go within the actual capsule. So next I'm going to select 3d shapes, which is right here because I need an eye. So I'm going to select sphere white, and then I'm going to drop that eye right here. I'm going to resize it. All right. Perfect. Go back to my Z axis. I'm going to push that back. Uh, that looks good. Now I need a pupil for my eye. So back to 3D shapes, over to the sphere again, and then down to black. And then I'm going to put it right here. Awesome. But we need to reshape it. So I'm going to make it smaller. And then I'm going to move my pupil right here. Oh, it's taking form now. My minion is missing his mouth. So now I'm going to go to stickers. Uh, great feature here. You have several stickers over here. You also can create stickers within Paint 3D. But today I'm going to use that happy sticker and I'm going to place that right here. Awesome. Select check. Okay. Now we have our minion here. So let's take our minion and put it in our real world using Windows Mixed Reality feature right here. All right, there's our guy right there. We are now in our real world on the dining room table. We plop him down on the table. Now it's time to move him around, okay? You can move him around using your mouse or you can touch the screen to move him around. You also can resize him as well. This is awesome right here. Just having the ability to have an avatar or something you created in your world. Now it's time to take a picture of this guy. It would be cool to take a picture. Let's take a picture right now. All right, waiting for the picture to come up. And once the picture is available for you, at that point on the right hand corner, there's the picture that's located right there. Now you can save the picture by selecting save but before you do that i'm gonna sign my name bam 
okay there it is you can save it let the ink dry the ink is drying right now and this is in the windows photo application and so when you take the picture it automatically goes to the windows photo application you can also email this picture off by selecting share and then it's going to take you to outlook or your mail application type in the email address you want and then send it off no problem at all thank you